It's Nostalgia Tree Trunks! There she is! Somebody made this for me at a con, there's her butt. Uh, my butt also has a bow on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I said last vlog I would show that off, so uh, it's really, really cool, so just, uh, uh, thanks again for that. I'm gonna put that over here. Uh, with that said, this is James 2! Uh, the follow-up to the kind of controversial episode, really. I mean, I, I thought it was kind of controversial. <laughs> um, you know, he, even Finn and Jake were kind of like, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like, yeah. we don't know. And this one... It's almost like they took the, the, the controversy of it and just said, we're just going to push it to, like, 10. <laughs> and we're just going to, like, not care and go batshit insane. I thought it was kind of funny, actually. I was... <laughs> and I, a part of me really says I should know better, but I, I was laughing at a lot of this. Pretty much, James 2, supposedly, keeps saving bubblegum from stuff, but it's almost never a threat. I don't even know what the hell he saved her from, like, in the beginning. Like, exactly. he just pushes her out of the way, and then he's in the water going off a waterfall. So, we don't even know if he's really saving her. Um, well, so remember, he saved her from that toxic mush uh, muffin, if I remember uh, right. Cupcake, I think. Yeah, yeah contaminated cupcake. He ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you just sort of get the idea that something's up. So, she finally says, look, I can't keep cloning James, so, you know, giving him medals every time I bring him back. So, we gotta just stop this, you know, we're gonna go and empty out his apartment, and Finn and Jake go, and it turns out those, am I right, those James were not, most of the Jameses were not actually dying, they were just going back to the home, right? Is that what it yes. was? And she, she, actually, she kept cl cloning him, uh, and then the real James number two, just like getting metal, so he just collected them, he has like this big necklace of just a ton of metals, even though like he hasn't, He's probably not the one who's been doing them, you know, he's no. probably one of the other Jameses. Uh, but they're also stupid, they don't care. So, uh, Peebles finds out, gets really angry, and tells all the banana guards, you know, to be, go after this James. And Finn and Jake, for the most part, are just watching a lot of this go by, and they even convince Peebles to just, just watch the stupidity <laughs> of it all. And... So they're watching, they're kind of enjoying it, and then Zombie James, uh, comes back, and he brings all his other jelly donut zombies to try and destroy them all. And all the Jameses kind of get together and they jump on top of Zombie James and form this giant collection of all of the Jameses. She gives them all the medals and says, your next mission is get out and never come back. And they go, okay, and they, they just take off. Um, well, remember, she promised that as long as she stayed away... Yeah, she'll keep sending medals, like, yeah. every day. Um, <laughs> which, uh, for the economy, I wonder how much that costs. <laughs> if everybody's made of candy, it's like, what is, what does metal cost in this world? You gotta think about it. What where the hell he, is money in this world? Where anyway? is he living? Uh, where is he? He was in that apartment or whatever. Yeah, but right? if he leaves and never comes back, there's no address. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, so she's like, oh yeah, I'll send you a medal. Every day. Yeah, go away. Well, he could always come back and demand the medal. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> no, no, James no. 3. No, no, she can say, it's in the mail. Oh, okay, and then he goes back and like, wait a minute. Can't. That would be pretty funny, and it's Actually, always like a week later. Great. Yeah, it's always like a week later, he keeps coming back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, there's... The humor in this episode, I tell myself, this is really dumb and I shouldn't be laughing at it, but for some reason, I, I really laughed at it. Uh, I think it's something about having Finn and Jake just sit back and watch it. I think even, there's something reassuring that even the main characters know, you know what, this is a pretty silly existence mm -hmm. we have. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and laugh. And so much of this is what that was. Uh, it's just watching the banana guards and all the Jameses uh, interact with each other. Um, you see them build that great big device. You have no <laughs> idea what it's going to do, and it does nothing. It just falls apart, which is great. Um, I, I love it when... I love the build-up, but when they just go and they're waiting for people to go in. And, <laughs> and, and into the apartment, you just see... Doo, 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 it's so quiet, and then just the door opens up. Hey! And they just see all of them jumping out the window, running around, and they're just laughing. It's just... I, I like that joke because you're kind of thinking they're going to do something different. Like, here it comes. Like, they're building it up. And usually nowadays, it's you don't deliver the joke or you deliver something different. Yeah. And they just deliver exactly what you're thinking. But it's like, it's still done so well. And, and it's really funny. Um, I love kicking the kids over the wall. Yeah. That was great. It really kind of felt like, a, like, 
it felt like in a re one of the really early Adventure Time episodes because mm -hmm. there's one scene where it's like, you know, we should all be called the same thing too, and the, the banana guard just gets really teary. I just make things much easier. I'm sorry. Anyway, and it's like, what the hell was that? What what was that about? And it was just so random and so strange. It, it reminded me when that gingerbread cookie guy gave oh, that God. old soliloquy, that crazy guy. You know, the tart toter. Yeah, since then we found out more about him, but like back then we, we, we had no idea what the hell he was or what his story was or what he was doing. Um, so, yeah, I... Even though I was really on the fence with the first James, I think because this one so didn't give a crap and just went so far with making so many of these Jameses, I mean, now they're all kind of one thing or whatever, and it was like, the first one was such an ethical dilemma, and now it's just so bad shit insane. I kind of respect it for just going all out crazy. Uh, so yeah, I, I surprisingly really liked it. <laughs> What's your take on it? Uh... James still annoys the hell out of me, but <laughs> it's not annoying in the way of, like, Lemon Hope or Lumpy Space Prince. Like, James, like, he's got that almost lovable annoyance to him, mm. where it's like, oh, I'd actually hang out with you for a little bit, and then i just push you out the door. Um, so seeing a whole bunch of Jameses, it was kind of like, ah! But, no, I love the Banana Guard-James interaction. That was great, and the whole... I don't remember blah 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 septuplets or something like that. I'm like, what? And then PB just being blah 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 septuplets. What the hell? <laughs> like, I just love her annoyance with them. Um, you're right, though. I love the way that Finn and Jake are just like, you know what? I'm going to sit here and chill and just we're just going to watch. And it's all good. It's okay. There's something nice when they invite peoples to do yeah. it, too. Like, you know, you, you need to relax a bit. You need to just take a minute just to you know, look at the ridiculousness of the situation and have a good giggle. Yeah. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and somehow that made it even funnier. I think if if they weren't watching when she went in and they all jumped out, like, it would still be kind of funny, but I don't think it'd be as funny. There's something about they know what's going to happen, I think that just adds to the build-up. For me, it was more along the lines of, like, you were sitting there with your buddies yeah. watching it. You know, instead of just being the observer, like, you're almost, like, sitting there with Finn and Jake. Because you're like, okay, what's going to, oh, God, okay, okay, oh, wait, something's going to happen. You know, it just felt like, at least for me, like, I was there with them. And that sounds so weird. No, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Mystery of Science Theater. Yeah. Like, you're with them watching the bad movie and kind of, you know, sharing their pain or their laughter or whatever yeah. with it. And I like how it was done, and I think it was smart with that scene where they did it where... James and Peebles were, like, far away, and they were small. Yeah. I think that added to the humor, just, like, these tiny things jumping out of windows going... Nee, 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 nee. Yeah, <laughs> and just her, run, you know, running out, waving yeah. her back. Well, you can see how many of them are running out of it. Yeah, the individual... <laughs> I mean, it was very well animated for something that was so tiny. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think the reason why I didn't find James as annoying in this one as opposed to the uh, original... It sounds strange, but I think because they're are so many of them, <laughs> it makes it a little funnier. It's oh, the yeah. same thing with the, if there's only one banana guard, I don't think that'd be funny. I, I think he'd get annoying really fast. But the fact that there's a ton of them, something about the collective stupidity is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, I agree. I, I think it, it's <laughs> funnier because it it sounds more like, even with all these people, they couldn't put a thought together. Uh, there's a Simpsons Halloween special where it's like, it was just at the point where it's like, starting to get into weight with Homer, you know, it's yeah. like, oh man, this guy's really starting to be a pain, but there's one where there's like just a ton of clones of him, oh. and they all just do the same thing, but it was really funny. I mean, it's so funny seeing all these Homers all go into a bar, you go, 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 and then they all, at the exact same time, run out to go around the corner, you know, to take a picture. Like, I mean, just all of them going around the corner like that. It's hilarious. You'd have to be there, and it would be funny to make even you laugh, you Simpson hater. No. Just watch the Misty episode where there's multiple Tom Servos. <laughs> I think I missed that one. I saw the one where they put him in the phone booth. That was funny. They tried to, uh, uh, he tries to stuff himself in a phone booth, so he just has all these Tom Servos. Maybe it was a reference to that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I actually really dug this episode. I thought it was surprisingly funny. <laughs> Again, a lot more laid back. Mm -hmm. you, you know, with the last, you know, stuff that's been going on, which is a little bit more heavy. Nice and laid back. Yeah. It's really good. I like the balance that's back. Yeah, that, that's not heavy, 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 light, heavy, 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 yeah. where it used to be the other way around. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a needed episode. Honestly, when I saw James 2, I was sort of like, 
Oh, jeez. You know, <laughs> do we need another, not only heavy, but with an, an annoying character? But like I said, I think having a lot of them really did help. Um, yeah, there's just something funny about a big group of stupid people <laughs> than there is with just one stupid person. So, like, all of Channel Awesome. Exactly! No, right. actually, there is a lot of truth to that, honestly. No, <laughs> but I, that's why, no, I love doing the anniversaries. Not because the, the, the real people are stupid, but because I love getting these characters, these big, you know, clearly show on their reviews, you know, they have big egos, yeah. and they're angry, and they're hating on stuff. When you get all those people together, and they just want to bitch and moan and complain, it's it's hilarious. I mean, and that's why I loved doing the anniversaries of that, because I love seeing all these characters together sort of interact off each other, even if it is just one doof is cloned a million times yeah. they're still working off of each other and i think it's just hilarious uh so yeah no i thought it was uh really good closing thoughts no i'm good oh god don't make me use my sexual wives oh my god you're not real i'm as real as you want me to be <clears throat> oh god you're lucky that that someone gave you that i'd break it do me in the bow.